With the COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of people have been picking up new hobbies, including cross-country skiing, and I'm joined today with Brian Robinson, treasurer of the Lloydminster Cross-Country Ski Club. So have you seen a big increase in numbers this year? Uh, that would be an understatement, <laughs> an understatement for sure. Uh, like members, usually we have about 15 members registered. This year we got like 68, 68, and uh, we've rented out like 75 sets of skis this winter, which two years ago you could have, we didn't rent anything out. So it all kind of started last March when COVID hit. And that's when people really got interested. And this winter has just been phenomenal. Just because it's something you can do outside, you can do with your family. It's inexpensive. And you can social distance very easily out there. So that's the main reason people just need to get outside. For those interested in cross-country skiing, where are some of the trails? Uh, our trails are located, it's called Poplar Bluff, so it's 16 kilometers east on Highway 303, and that's east of Lloydminster, and you'll see the signs directing you to our clubhouse from, if you go 16 kilometers east on 303, you'll see the signs and they'll direct you right to the clubhouse. So it's about a 15 or 20 minute drive from Lloyd. The trails here in Lloyd, like we set the trails at the golf course and, uh, you know, they're a little more open than what we have out at our club, but uh, like we had early snow in November and very nice weather right through Christmas into January. So they were in very good shape and they get skied frequent enough that they stay in pretty good shape. Uh, you know, when the wind comes up, it blows the snow into the trail, but people will continue to ski even if they're not groomed. Uh, so it keeps the trails open. So they're very darn good for the amount of snow we have. And if someone's looking to become a member, how can they do so? Uh, you can go to our Lloydminster Cross Country Ski Club website, and there's a link on there that'll take you to a place that you can register and you just pay by credit card. It's like $45 per year per person. So it's, it's the same whether you're an adult or a child, it's the same. There's lots of areas around Lloyd for cross country skiing, not just here, but we have set trails at Rolling Green Golf Course, a couple three kilometer loops out there. Uh, I know they're setting trails out at Sandy Beach, a group. Uh, there's also trails up uh, um, Elmhurst, which is up by Bright Sand Lake. And there's also trails at Turtle Lake at the Nature Sanctuary, it's called. Uh, where else? Vermilion's got trails. So, yeah, it's um, everybody's getting into it. And hopefully, next winter, we have the same problems with running out of equipment. <laughs> but we have ordered, ordered more equipment for next year. Of course, you can't can't buy anything from a store today, you have to order it. So we've ordered some more equipment, which will be here in September, October, this fall. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Brian. You're welcome, Jasmine. Take care.